Welcome back to the Brainstorm Learning Center. My view all over the world. For a while now, I have not been uploading content on my uh, YouTube page. But for now, we are back fully. So the third back. class, we are going to look at the topic on the board, vibration in the pipe. You know, sand are produced when an air column in a pipe are set into vibrations through to the external influence or external disturbance. But in a pipe, there are two types of pipe. We are what to call open pipe and closed pipe. And then we are going to look at them one after the other. What I'm trying to say here is that we have two types of pipe. The first one is let's close pipe. While the second one is open pipe. But we are going to start from uh, with closed pipe. What is closed pipe? Closed pipe is a pipe that opens at one end. Here we are going to look at the fundamental frequency of the note produced. Now let me support my explanation with the diagram. From there we start the explanations. This is a typical open pipe. Now when the air is set in, you are going to have what we call two points. Here is what we call node, and a point here is what we call anti-node. And then from here to this point is what we call length, where is the length of the pipe. What is node? A node is a point where there is no disturbance of wave particle, while the antinode is the point where there is a maximum disturbance of the air molecule. And then from this point now, now let's look at the what L represents. L represents lambda over 4. Why do you have lambda over 4? Because this is one segment of the wavelength. And what is wavelength? Is the wavelength is the distance between the two successive crests. And then when you look at this one, it's just one segment of the two successive segments. Now from here, we have L is equal to lambda over 4. And then make lambda the subject of the formula here. Lambda now is equal to 4 L, call it equation 1. But recall that under general wave equation, we have V is equal to lambda F. And then let F is equal to F of naught. What F of naught represents? F of naught represents the fundamental frequency of a closed pipe, that is the first note produced. Now, therefore, we have V is equal to lambda F naught. And then make F naught the subject of formula. Therefore, F naught is equal to V over lambda. That is, F naught is equal to V over lambda. But recall, our lambda is equal to 4L from this equation 1. And then remove this lambda and put 4L there. Therefore, F naught now be equal to V over 4L. And then this is the fundamental frequency, but, uh, fundamental frequency of a closed pipe. But let's generate another one. As we introduce another air into this vibration, then when you have this is for let's when you have another column, air columns, this is the first one, and then you introduce another one, you are going to have antinode. Here is node, here is antinode, node, and what? Antinode. Now, what's L? The L is equal to we have one. Two, three. That will be three lambda over four. And then make lambda the subject of formula here. That is three lambda is equal to four L. Therefore, lambda now is equal to four L over three. Equation two. That is your lambda is equal to four L over three. Now from this segment, also recall that V, we have V is equal to lambda f. Here, f now will be equal to f1. That is the force overtone in the closed pipe. And then that f1 is equal to v over lambda. f1 is equal to v over lambda. And then what is lambda here? From equation 1, lambda is equal to 4L over 3. Remove this lambda here. f1 is equal to v over 4L over 3. And then in mathematics, this 3 come up that we have F1 is equal to 3V over 4L. That is F1 is equal to 3V over 4L. Now from here you can factorize. 
F1 is equal to 3 into V over 4L. But recall, fundamental frequency here, what is fundamental frequency? Is V over 4L. And then we have V over 4L. Therefore, F1 is equal to 3 F of naught. That is the fundamental frequency, uh, the first overtone is 3 F of naught. And then let's have the, top, uh, the second one. How are you going to generate the second one? Draw another column, air column. That is the second one. We have another air column. Therefore, we have this is node, antinode, node, antinode, node, antinode. And then we have L is equal to, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5. Then we have 5 ladder over 4. That is, in second, we have L is equal to 5 ladder over 4. Therefore, now we have... Since L is equal to 5 ladder over 4, that will 5 ladder now will be equal to 4L. Lambda now is equal to 4L over what? Over 5. That is, lambda is equal to 4L over 5. And then recall our equation again. V is equal to lambda, uh, v is equal to lambda F. Here we have V is equal to lambda F2. Because you are in second over tone. Therefore, F2 is equal to V over lambda. And I substitute since this equation theory. Your ladder is equal to 4L over 5. Remove this ladder here. For, put 4L over 5. Therefore, F2 is equal to V over 4L all over 5. Therefore, 5 go up. F2 is equal to 5V over 4L. Therefore, F2 now is equal to 5F of naught because V over 4L is what? Fundamental frequency that is F2 is equal to 5 F of F of naught. Now from this equation, therefore for F3, how are we going to get in the F3? Now you can calculate the F3. This is F2 is equal to 5, 5 ladder over 4. Therefore, for third over tone, third over tone, your length will be equal to what? 7 ladder over what? Over 4. Because if the second one is 5 ladder over 4, that means the third one will be equal to what? 7 ladder over 4. Therefore, your 7 ladder is equal to 4L. Ladder now will be equal to what? 4L over what? 4L over 7. Here will be, V now will be equal to lambda F3. That will be, therefore, F3 now is equal to V over lambda. F3 will be equal to V over 4L divided by 7. 7 go of F3 now be equal to what? 7 V over what? Over 4L. F3 is equal to 7 F of naught. That is, that is V3 and F3 is equal to 7 F of naught. Now, if F3 is 7 F of naught, what is it going to be F4? F4. Therefore, in F4, let me clear this side. Therefore, the, for fourth one, the length is equal to 9 ladder over what? Over 4. And then make lambda the subject of formula. Therefore, we have 9 ladder is equal to 4L. Lambda 9 is equal to 4L over what? Over 9. That's our wavelength. And then recall, we have V is equal to lambda. Here will be now be F4. That is the fourth over tone. Therefore, make F4 now will be equal to V over lambda. And then remove this lambda and put 4L over 9. Therefore, we have F4 now be equal to 9V is equal to 4L. F4 is equal to 9F of naught. Therefore, in general, 
in general, in the closed pipe, you have three f of naught, comma, five f of naught, seven f of naught, nine f of naught, eleven f of naught, and so on. These are the overtones we have in a closed pipe. Now let's consider the vibration in the uh, open pipe. What's the open pipe? Is the pipe that open at both ends, and then this an open pipe. At point at the center, we have what to call node. The node is at the center, and then at end, um, both ends, we have what's called anti node. The length of the pipe now is one two. That be two lambda over what over four. Two lambda over four is the same thing as what lambda over two, because two is a factor of four. Now therefore we have L is equal to lambda over two. The lambda now is equal to what two L. If lambda is equal to two L, hence V is equal to lambda F naught. Here F naught is the fundamental frequency of a, of of an open pipe. Therefore, F naught is equal to V over lambda, which is equal to V over, what is lambda? Lambda is equal to 2L. V now is, uh, F naught now is equal to V over 2L. Hence, in an open pipe, F naught is equal to V over 2L. This is the fundamental frequency of, a, of an open pipe. Now, let's now look at the first overtone. Now, the first overtone, this is your pipe. This is the first one. You have node, also anti node. That be one, two, three, four. That be lambda now is equal to, L now is equal to four lambda over what? Over four. And then when you have L is equal to four lambda over four, that means L now is equal to what? Lambda. Four will go with four. Now remember, v is equal to v is equal to lambda f one. Therefore, f one is equal to v over what over lambda. If f one is equal to v over lambda, and then what is lambda? Lambda is equal to l. Remove this v and lambda and put l there. Therefore, f one is equal to v over over l. Now recall that. Let's go back to the fundamental frequency. F naught is equal to V over 2L. That is, fundamental frequency is half of first overtone. Therefore, when you multiply this F naught by 2 equal to this, therefore F1 will be equal to 2 of what? F of naught. That is, F1 is equal to 2 F of naught. That is first overtone. And then the second overtone, if L is equal to, if L is equal to four lambda, and then the second overtone, and the second overtone, your L will be equal to what? Six lambda over what? Over four. Now let's now look at two here, two, two here is what? Three. And then we have three lambda is equal to two L. Lambda now is equal to Lambda is equal to 2L over what? Over 3. Now, V is equal to lambda F2. That is second over 2. Now, F2 is equal to V over lambda. Therefore, F2 is equal to V over, what is lambda? 2L over 3. 3 go up. F2 now is equal to 3V over 2L. Therefore, F0 is equal to what? Three f of naught because v over two l is equal to f of naught. Now that is second. What the third? The third one. The third one will be l now be equal to what? Eight lambda over what? Over four. That is the third one. Here is two. Sorry, two. Okay, four here is one. Four here is two. That l now is equal to two lambda. Now, if L is equal to 2 lambda, lambda now is equal to L over 2. Therefore, V now is equal to lambda F3. 
F3 now is equal to V over lambda. F3 now is equal to F now is equal to what? V over what? L over 2. 2 will go up. 2V over what? Over lambda. Now, when you have 2V over lambda, that means F3 now be equal to what? 4F of naught. F3 is equal to 4F of naught. Therefore, in conclusion, in an uh, open pipe, the harmonic obtained in an open pipe is 2F of naught, 3F of naught, 4F of naught, 5F of naught, etc., and so on.